Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I'm going to go over a cryptocurrency today. And that is going to be UFO gaming. So I'll show you why uh, you probably don't want to miss that one because uh, I'm full disclosure. I am entering into it, have been for a time being. And um, nobody's paying me about UFO gaming either. So you don't have to worry about that. I'm going off the charts so uh, solo, but you want to be paid attention. I put this coming, coming FOMO wave for Bitcoin. And um, you have a good shot. You might be in this sucker. You might be in this sucker right now. Looks like it may have uh, may have already started. But here's Barn Bridge or Bond. They made a video on that and put that trend line on there. And um, I decided to risk it for the biscuit. Pick up some Barn Bridge at $3.50, or something like that. And uh, looks like that was a good decision. It just looked a little too bullish to me. So the nice thing about Barn Bridge over here is that it made a nice move over there. You can see that going up and 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 up. For a total of what? Let's check it out. Almost a 10x. That's why I entered into it, guys. So... Back over to UFO Gaming. Let's check this out. All right, so here's UFO Gaming. Kind of in the same position. And UFO Gaming went on a run right here for a grand total of, let's see, what is that? Oh, look like, wow, if you could just exit at that wick. Boom, 6x right there. It's actually 7x, 600%. And now you see UFO Gaming is over here up and a nice impulse wave and down in three. Is it bottom there or is it right there? Could have been either one of those guys. It looks like it may have been right here is what I think because one, two, three, four, five. But now what do we have with UFO gaming over here, guys? Could it keep running? It could. It could. That's why you want to have a strategy to enter in just in case... This thing starts rolling off out of here, but you see what I see right here? Right here with UFO Gaming. One, two, three, highest peak on the RSI, four, and it's in a fifth. Okay? So the strategy would be, okay, load it up some, right? In case it runs. But you might have that second chance here a little bit. Come back and correct. Could have a shallow correction. Back down and boom. Just like right over there, guys. I think you have a good shot with UFO Gaming and potential 5-6x, something like that, and maybe even more, depending on how bullish the cryptocurrency market is going to get. Okay? So, going through these assets. I'm just going through the assets, guys. You know, like uh, some of these of uh, what have entered in. When I was talking about entering in, you would have done pretty good. Done pretty good ever since June. Just buying these things in June, some of these in June, you'd still be up like two to two four x, and um, the other one, synthetics, is doing really well. Don't underestimate synthetics. There's something about that's telling me that that's going to do really well. I don't know why. Uh, maybe it's because I'm in it. Nobody's paying me to say anything about that either. All right, I'm going to reiterate that. You know, I'm not these uh, type of guys, man. I'm trying. I'm for the little guy. I'm for the little guy that's trying to make bank. That's who I'm for, you know, and that's how cryptocurrency should be. That's what decentralization is all about, guys. That's really what it's about, in my opinion. But most of the guys want decentralization and they 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 want all the benefits of it and all the big players or rich guys, too, that are in there. And um, the bad actors ruin it, guys. That's what happens with with decentralization. When you have an, something that's decentralized, you have bad actors that come in. And they screw it up. That's the problem with decentralization, guys. They've tried governments like that. Uh, using as government as an example is that you have to have, like, in a society, you have to have some sort of centralized authority to take care of the bad actors. You know, there's the theory that uh, your your common people in society would take care of the bad actors and get them out. Um, the problem with that theory is that people are lazy and uh, they don't work for free, right? So... You got to pay somebody to get those bad actors out, right? So that's the issue with it, okay? Um, otherwise, it's a really good uh, good deal if you don't have any bad actors. But 
Um, you could get some really good gains on this one, in my opinion, guys. So this is an area with UFO gaming that you definitely want to be paying attention. Could be starting its wave one back to a massive three, four, five, or something like that. You take a look at UFO gaming and history of it. Let's say the bottom was right there. Uh, 14 June went up in that wave. That was 27 June, so two weeks back down. And then it went on the run. If you take a look over here, bottom right here, what is that time frame right now? You know, more or less uh, about the same time, two weeks, probably a correction like that, maybe a spike up like so, and it might come back down just to these areas and then another re-entry over here, guys. So I'd be paying attention to this uh, to this coin. Um, I know the theory is that um, the old coins are just going to die. So you have some... Um, videos on these guys that have been around in the cryptocurrency market since 2015 16 and 18 and going through all that and the cryptocurrencies are going to just die um and you know maybe they're right about that guys i'm not seeing that quite yet i do see bitcoin taking off a little bit more and kind of taking over a little bit but here's the reason why i i say that 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 might not be correct is if you take a look at ethereum right let's take a look at ethereum i'll show you something on a weekly chart that's a 45 day chart. We don't want a weekly chart. Here's Ethereum on a weekly chart. Okay. Now, with Ethereum, okay, it's coming up to that resistance. Is Ethereum going to come back down and break that? That's a good question. You want to keep that in the back of your mind, guys. But if the bottom was here and this is a wave one, okay, over here with Ethereum, this is a wave one. It came back down. It's corrected here. It's working on a wave one. And it's going to correct a little bit more. It could be going into a three of some type of wave. Okay, so here's your wave one, two. Here's a one of the three, three of three, and then back down and then like so. And then maybe a four and then back for a five. Now, the question remains is that, that is that a possibility? That's definitely a possibility, guys. Um, you can't rule that out. And just to sit there and sit on your hands and go, okay, it's just they're going to dump to 300 or 600 or something like that is probably not a good strategy. I mean, even buying Ethereum right now, guys, like when I say at the bottom, you know, if you would have sold it there, that's 131%. If you would have still held on to your Ethereum, buying at the bottom right there, you'd still be up 2x. Um, you know, so here's the issue I have with Ethereum, okay? It's not an issue. It's actually a good issue. If you go to a monthly chart here and see the deal is with Ethereum, what did it do up here? See, that's the, uh, that's the dilemma that I have, okay? Um, the assumption is that Ethereum went one, two, three, four, five, right? And that could be a, a good assumption, right? That, that is a possibility, and then this is a wave two correction, and this is uh, one, two, three, and it's going into uh, another sequence. However, for some reason, this whole thing could have been the third wave. That's a third wave extension of this wave. And it came back down and corrected it. And Ethereum may be going into a fifth wave. If this is a fifth wave, you have a good shot that Ethereum is going to break those highs of 4,800, guys, or whatever it went to, 4,600 or 4,800, all right? So I am keeping that in the back of my, my mind. And if Ethereum is going into a wave like that, guys, what do you think is going to be going on with the altcoins? Something to think about and to be prepared for. If you made it all the way to the end, do me a huge favor, drop a like, hit the subscribe button. Peace.